we are at Florence railway station there is a slight change of plans we are not going to explore Florence today instead we will experience the city of Pisa did you feel the starting was a little abrupt well i did you know what let's start from the beginning hello do musafir fam jam good morning from florence please don't mind our appearances we just woke up had a good night sleep but right now we are heading out to grab something to eat as we are super hungry yes yeah, today is our day 2 in florence let's go and grab some yummy breakfast For those of you who are new to our channel, we are Do Musafir, and we just hit 1K subscribers! Yay! We have created Italy travel series playlist where we explored Rome, the Vatican City, and Florence. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so where were we? Ah, uh, yes, breakfast. La Menagère is Florence's top-rated breakfast place. It is a beautiful, cozy restaurant filled with blooming flowers and many different tasty treats. I sat at probably the most Instagrammable spot with background full of roses, and I had their famous guacamole, spinach quiche with garlic sauce, while Archit went all out on desserts with Nutella pancakes and sweet French toast. Even though my tummy is fully stuffed with the wonderful breakfast we had, I still wanted to try on these famous Italian desserts. So this is Aragostina, stuffed with the uh, chocolate cream. Unlike croissant, the shell is quite hard. And this is the famous cannoli stuffed with pistachio cream. Let me just try it. After going back to our Airbnb. We got ready to explore Pisa. Florence to Pisa is just 1 hour 15 minutes via train. And why miss a chance to witness one of the amazing wonders of the world? While there are a lot of things to do in Pisa, but we wanted to see the Leaning Tower. Pisa's map shows over 16 tourist hotspots that we can explore in the city. Since we were in Pisa for just a few hours, we decided to cover 3 of them which are next to each other. The first is the dome-shaped structure. It is a baptistry which was used for baptism back in the early days. Its work began in 1153 and took over 140 years to complete. The middle building is the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta. Its construction began 100 years before the baptistry. Finally, it was time for the star of the day. This is probably the world's most famous star, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. As expected, we made all possible poses and took touristy pictures with this leaning beauty. You should definitely follow us on Instagram if you haven't done that already. Also, if you have followed us this far in the video, I am expecting that you have already liked this video. From reading about it in history books to actually experiencing it in real life, the short trip to Leaning Tower of Pisa was really, really amazing. But now it's time to head back to Florence and grab some dinner. We had pizza for dinner at a local pizzeria, which was not that great. And then. We had to compensate it. As usual, we are ending the day with the famous gelato. We hope you enjoyed this short vlog to Pisa. In case you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye bye.